Divas, I have a special Diamond Art Club kit to show you today. And it is Lotus Koi Fish. It's very pretty. I can't wait to open it up and show you. Let's see. Um, this is not a new kit, but it is still available. I am gonna, This plastic uh, goes over every box so that it keeps the dampness out. And this is a round kit, and you get the 10% off Scan Me at the bottom. If this is your first Diamond Art Club order, please check the, the uh, affiliate link down below. I do get a little bit back from that, and it's for 15% off. It doesn't cost you any extra. In fact, it costs you less if you use it. All right. Now, here. First of all, you come across the the sticker, the little sticker. You can use it for the bottom of the box. You can make a uh, resin cover minder out of it. You can put it in your notebook or your inventory sheets. However, you like to keep track of your diamond paintings. It comes with its individual toolkit as well. Let's see what goodies we find in this one. Ooh. I don't have those. Okay. Comes with a big bag of baggies. Comes with a random colored pen and squishy. With two multi-placers, a four and a seven. A tray, a sparkly tray that comes with a stopper on the end so that the drills that when you shake them to get them in line don't fall out the end. So I'm going to put these back before I show you the next. Plus I have a frosted heart full of wax that you need for diamond painting. Put these back in and I'll show you the goodies. All right, I've got a very sparkly cover minder with a nice big magnet on the back. Decent. Okay, the cover minder is you put one underneath your cover, you pull the plastic back and then you pinch it from the top with this so that it holds your cover back while you're diamond painting. This is a beauty. Guess which one I'm keeping. <laughs> and, and I love this washi tape. This is like pinks and blues and purples and it's got a gold foil accent running through it as well. Beautiful. Now, what do you need wax, uh, washi tape for when you're diamond painting? Well, I will show you when we get there, okay? Put this aside. All right. Another plastic bag for protection. Let me unroll this and roll it backwards so you can see. So you can see very easily what it will look like. In a moment, we have some goodies to show you first. Also, in every Diamond Art Club, you get a thank you from Angie, the owner. You get more QR codes for 20% off your first app order. And another thank you 10 code and tips and tricks on how to diamond paint. You also get a large sticker of what your canvas will look like when completed. It'll give you all the information about the size and the artist. This one happens to be oh, Renjintha Anoop. I apologize if I have mispronounced that. The artist of this one is Renjintha Anoop. And uh, this is, let's see, how many? 36 colors. Each has the sequence number, the symbol that you're going to find on the canvas, and the DMC color number to match it up with. And they are all individual stickers to help you kit up. Okay, put that aside for now. Now let's show you that canvas. 
if you're interested in seeing the sneak peeks for Diamond Art Club before they get come out on sale. Uh, I get one at the beginning of each month, so you might want to like and subscribe and click the little bell at the bottom to be notified as to when my sneak peeks and other videos come out. So let me widen you out as far as I can so you can see this. At the bottom of each canvas, you will see all the information with a thumbnail of what it will look like. And this is a 46 by 64 centimeter kit, which is an 18 by 25 inch which is a perfect size to find a frame for. It gives you their social media information and another 10% off and it gives you the warranty at the bottom. All right the canvas itself is sparkly it has a pinked and poked edge on the side to keep it from fraying. <clears throat> it has a little koi fishy down here you can see the big lily pad and the, um, the lotus flower on top. It comes with the inventory list on both the t one at the top and one toward the bottom of the canvas. And how we read it is we look down and we see five different special numbers um, for special diamonds that are Aurora Borealis diamonds that um, sparkle and shine a little bit differently. So let me show you the colors that come in the kit. Hold this down for a moment. Each packet of drills you will see labeled with the name of the painting and the inventory number. All right, as I'm showing you the drills, I'm gonna pick out the ones that are Aurora Borealis, and we will start with those. I mean, well, well, we'll show you what they do in the end, okay? So let me bring you in so you can see the diamonds up close and personal. Oh, I love that teal color. Beautiful. I'm hoping you can see the color and the number very easily. I don't need to read them out loud to you. Right. Oh, beautiful teals, dark greens. What a beautiful contrast that will make. A dark blue, a navy blue. Oh, now we're getting into the pink colors. The pinks and greens. And the first AB we come across is the white one. I'll pull that aside. AB just means Aurora Borealis because it has a, like a rainbow shine on it that draws attention. That, that draws your attention to that part of the canvas. More pinks and greens and another AB, a bright pink AB. All right, there's going to be more in this train as well. Lots of pinks and peaches. And here are two ABs lined up right beside each other. Very nice. Let's see. We'll use those. And more of the colors. I believe in color therapy. And for sure, Diamond Art Club canvases are color therapy. Another AB. I like playing with color, whether it's in paint, whether it's in pictures, whether it's coloring things in the journal, whether it's diamond art, color is color therapy. It just makes you makes things bright and happy. Now do I have them all? One, two, three, four, five. Did I say they were five? Yes, very good. All right, now I'm gonna put these diamonds back in its little case. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to ask you to like and subscribe. Hit the little notification bell if you'd like to be notified when Diamond Art Club sneak peeks come out. And while you're down in the bottom, you might want to look at the description box and pick out the 15% off of affiliate link for 
your first Diamond Art Club order. I like to put them back in the packet like this so that I have the picture in with the drills. It's very easy to find that way. You just have to be careful of the little numbers so that they don't come off and stick to the inside of your packet. Which rarely happens, actually. So. Try to get it as skinny as possible because I also wrap them up inside the canvas to keep them together when I need to. Alright. I'll keep this open until we get to the, the ABs here. Alrighty. Get them in order of where they appear in the kit. Okay. Now, I'm going to pull it down a little further here for you. Make sure you're all the way out. All right. So you see the lotus here. Let's find um, the ABs are numbered from 1 to 5 in sequence. So number 1 is this dark pink AB. So where do we find the number 1s in the kit? Definitely in the, let's see, around the inside of the lotus. And I see them all around in here, all within the lotus. Different parts, even out here in the lotus and in the pad here, and in the koi fish. So you have it through the middle so far. Get that off later. And number two is this very light pale pink. I see the number twos on the outline around the edges of the lotus, along the edges of the petals. Um, let's see, yes. Number three is the very light yellow, and I see the number threes in the same places. Let's see. Yeah, it's basically the twos and the threes are kind of together in some of the same places. The threes are more toward the inside than the twos. Okay, I'm going to keep looking at the fish down here. There are some twos, the light pinks, in the fish as well. Now we come to the green, the number four AB. Let me see, that should be down here. I see at the bottom of the lotus, a number four here. And on the edge of the lily pad, and dots here and there on the lily pad, right on the edges of the lily pad, we have the five. So you have it down here, you have the ear eye brought down here. You have it all across the middle, some toward the, the top, and then down around the lily pad and up. Now we have the whites. These are going to be the number fives, and they are definitely within the lily pad here. And the lily pad reaches to the very top. So you have sparkle all the way through, emphasizing different places within the canvas. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This will be stunning when it's finished, and it won't take too long. I thought I, I told I, blah, blah, blah. I said I would show you what to do with the washi tape. Sometimes the canvas has a little bit of an overflow mm -hmm. of glue on its edges. So what I like to do is line this up along the edge and it does two things. It keeps the dust and dirt out from that extra glue line. You don't have to go picking things out when you're finished. And it also helps the, the uh, first row of diamonds that you start line up very easily. Another thing you can do with your uh, washi tape is pull it out and section off. Do sections, and maybe like two sections this way. So you can quadrant it off into sections that you can diamond paint a little bit at a time so that uh, the, um, the plastic cover doesn't become unruly and it gives you an incentive like, oh, I've got one done. I can't wait to get the next one done. Do I want to do it now or do I have to wait for that? But it, it gives you a section and an idea also then how long it takes you to do one section. You can translate that into how long it will take you to do the whole canvas. 
right? I like to fold the end of it over so that I can easily pick it up at another time. This is beautiful. I would recommend Lotus. I absolutely would. Um, they do still have some in stock at, as of this taping. I will link it down below so that you can easily get a hold of one. I really do think this is a really beautiful canvas. Beautifully rendered, which means the computer rendering um, when they take an artist's picture and translate it into this graph of dots um, that's what they call rendering and they do a quality control look over it too to make sure that there isn't like a stray color somewhere that doesn't belong there and to make sure that it's uh, both the simplest amount of colors but the most amount of colors that they can put in as well so um, the most packed into the meaning and oh there's another koi fish over here I didn't even see it I thought it was part of the lotus it's one here and one here I will roll this up now and I'll say goodbye but I look forward to seeing you uh, again at our Tuesday night work basket community 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where you can come meet us and have some laughs get some encouragement and diamond paint together and you can also do that when you, if you watch the replay of the lives. Um, we do have some fun together. I do some get to know you type questions and things in the middle of it as we do our whips together. All right. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye, divas.